All right, folks, you are looking at the Breville. See it? Breville Air Fryer Oven. I thought I'd do a review on this thing. I don't know the ins and outs about it. The wife probably does. Uh, but I've been using this thing for a week. The wife's been gone out of town. And this thing is amazing. I've been using it for a week. Constant. And it has done so well. Now it is dirty. Like I said, I've been using it for a week, folks. And I'm not cleaning it. I'm just not going to do it. Huh? The wife can clean it when she gets home. As part of her punishment for going out of town. Anyway, folks, uh, so we're going to take a look at this screen here in a minute. It's very blurry where we sit right now. Uh, if you're standing like a little above, looking down on the screen, it's, it's crystal clear. I don't know how it is on the video, but it is crystal clear in real life. Uh, folks, this is real life. Uh, it, it just is what it is. I'm fixing to cook something up. I'm going to show you. And I'll talk about all that in a minute. But uh, let me show you how to do this thing real quick. At least this is what I know. And uh, folks, I can't say enough good about this Breville um, air fry oven. Whatever it is. Cooker. That's an air fry oven. Uh, convection oven. Uh, this thing is amazing, folks. Let's try to get a good pick here. How's that? All right, so it's going to be a little shaky just for a minute, but bear with me. Okay. All right, folks, so we've got toast, bagel, bake, air fry, broil, roast, pizza, cookies, proof, reheat, slow cook, keep warm, and dehydrate. So this thing's a dehydrator as well. All right, so let's go ahead and put it on bake. Wrong way, bake. Boom. All right. So 325 is what it's telling us to do for 30 minutes. But uh, so this this is where you get to where you want bagel, bake, air fry, broil, that sort of thing. Your selector, I should say. This is your temperature. So we want to boost it up to 400 for me. I want this thing to cook as fat to cook as fast as possible. And then what, what, what else do we have here? Press start. All right. So now this thing will beep. It's preheating and it will beep when it has preheated to 400 degrees. And that's when the timer will start for 30 minutes. Uh, so that's pretty cool. All right. So that's the temp. And now this one is the time we can make the time go more time or less time all right this is uh like super convection see there's super convection we cut it back off we don't want that that was this button here that's the fan button and then a bit more i guess you just hit that and it'll cook a little better now this is what you push this button here the snowflake that's the button you push if your stuff is frozen it just lets it know it's frozen and favorite so i guess it has a memory of your favorite things and you just push favorite basically that is it all right let's get in a good position here oh my goodness all right so this thing's preheating we got it at 425. Let's let's back her up to 400. And that's a little much for this uh, cornbread, but uh, that's okay. I want it to cook as fast as possible. The one thing I don't know how to do, if you can do it at all, I don't see where you can do it, is turn the light on in this thing, other than opening up the door. Uh, it'd be nice if I had a light, I guess, that uh, you could just push the button for the light. And it might have that. I don't know. I don't know where it's at. Alright, so I don't know how clear you can see that screen. But being down here, it's just not real clear. you got to get above it for it to be clear. 
like so. I don't know if that's any better or not, folks. Anyway, so... Yeah. All right, so what I've got here is I've got cornbread, and it is a cornbread that is a cornmeal that just has hydrated lime in it. I guess that's for a preservative. I didn't put an egg in it. I didn't do anything. I just put water in it, mixed it up, and put it on the uh, pizza sheet. It's kind of like a pizza sheet thing, and that's what uh, it, that's what comes with it. The thing looks funny. Uh, it also has a couple of more racks or whatever. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, folks, this thing, this Breville air fry oven is unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is so handy. It is so nice to have around. And see, we're on propane here. And we have a full gas stove that's cooktop and oven. And we have a propane water heater as well. And that is... Uh, because the electricity goes out often around here and so when that happens we can well you know just turn on a couple of burners and it'll actually keep the house around 60. Uh, we can cook we can bake we can cook on the stove top with you know no electricity no big deal we can still cook and we can still have hot water and that was my deal is I wanted propane water heater and a propane stove so we could still function pretty good if the electricity goes out and so it comes in handy that's for sure uh, if we're out of propane or it comes in handy if we don't want to use the propane uh, it's way cheaper to do the electricity than the propane so if you have a gas stove this thing is uh, just a lifesaver sometimes. I mean, we run out of propane. No big deal. The wife cooks whole chickens, whole big fat chickens in this thing. And they are absolutely delicious. If you want to eat healthier, yes. it. Uh, she cooks me chicken. She makes chicken fingers in it and all of that sort of thing where they're not deep fried and that. Um, even if you have an electric stove, this is so handy. You don't have to heat up the whole stove. You know, it doesn't use as much electricity. Now, you heard the beep, and the timer uh, started ticking because it preheated to 400. What else? What else can I say about it? Um, it, uh, I, it's a smart oven, a smart air fryer, and, and, and it's smart folks it knows where where what rack you're using it, it just knows all of that it's it's awesome uh for a dumb dumb someone who's not into cooking although i did cook today someone who's not into cooking uh this is perfect uh, it's perfect for anybody a whole family couples especially at one person you know but uh yeah just think you don't have to uh, uh turn that oven on and if you have an electric oven a gas oven you don't have to you've got this and so this has just turned out to be awesome for us we absolutely love it now this is an apply this is an appliance it's like a microwave or refrigerator coffee maker those sorts of things need a 20 amp plug so just remember that don't forget that this is an appliance it needs that 20 amper for sure um yeah, we're going to sit and watch it cook, folks. We're going to sit and watch it cook. We're going to let this go for about, I don't know, 22 minutes. Now, what what I'll do is I'll let it cook a while uh, on bake, and then I'll switch it to broil. All right, so uh, it, it has this little racky thing here. It's dirty because I've been using it. And like I said, I'm not going to wash it. I'm just not. This is real life. Now that slides right in there. Open the door and that slides right in there. That's what you do the air frying stuff on. That makes it good. All right. And then we've got this one. So. 
slides right in, folks. And like I said, you can move this rack up and down. Up and down. Uh, so my daughter and son-in-law purchased this for us. I don't know. It's got to be around $600, $700, I guess. This is a very nice one. And uh, we would have never bought this. And we, uh, you know, we can't really afford to go out and spend money on something like this. So they bought it for us, and I'm thankful for that. Um, I also will do a review on our teapot, our water pot, or teapot. It uh, it saves us propane. This saves us propane. And uh, that teapot, you wouldn't believe the propane that we save by having these two things. Folks, if you're on gas, pick you up a Breville uh, air fryer oven. Pick it up anyway, but especially if you're on, on, on propane or natural gas. Get one of these and I'll show you the coffee or the uh, teapot. It's, it's awesome too. We'll do a separate video on that one. It saves us so much propane. I had actually thought about getting a uh, hot plate <laughs> just, to, just to have, just to save on propane. But it is nice having a gas stove, a gas cooktop, and a gas oven, and a gas water heater. It, it is very nice. It, it, electricity goes out, you still... You're still good. You're still, you still take that hot shower. Get out, folks. Make you a hot cup of tea. Huh? All right. So let me just think about it for a minute. Do I have basically everything covered? I do believe I have. Now, like I said, folks, you can't, you don't get a real good, clear picture of the screen. <coughs> but that's only on this video. Because in real life, you get a good, clear picture. Especially especially when you're standing over it just a little your eyes are above it and you're looking down like you would be it's crystal clear folks highly highly recommend one of these things that is for sure super simple to use Time. This button is for the time. This button is for the uh, temperature. This button is your selection button. Air fry, bake, broil, whatever. Start, stop. What is this? Hang on, folks. Oh, this here is, um, this button here is Celsius Fahrenheit. And this is super convection right here. Let's cut it off. That's super duper. It's going to cook her fast. We don't want that. And then this one here is um, if you wanted to cook a little longer, just hit that. And I guess I'll give you another minute or two. I've never used it. And this is if it's frozen, you just push that and it'll show up there frozen. And then this one here is a favorite. So evidently it's got some sort of memory. I don't know. Breville. I'm going to take you close, folks. Might as well. That uh, pizza rack, uh, not the rack, but the but the uh, sheet. The thing is warped. That came with it. That that came with this contraption, and uh, it it is warped. You know how when a pan gets real hot, it warps. Well, that's what has happened with that. So just be aware of that. I 
Hey, for you folks who do not like to cook, this is good. This is good. It, uh, you can throw your pizza rolls in there. I don't eat that stuff, but you can throw your, uh, you know, you can get those. The wife gets those uh, chicken and vegetable um, egg rolls. And, uh, you know, you just throw them right in there on air fry. Oh, they come out crunchy. Same with your pizza rolls. Same with just anything. Stick it in there. You got all them selections. Bake and broil and air fry and whatever. You can cook a pizza in this thing. I told you a whole chicken she puts in there. Let me go get a chicken out of the freezer. Because this is the ones that she puts in there. Folks, and she will put this whole thing in there. And she will put this whole thing in there. Boom. And it's delicious. It comes out so good, man. It's just unreal. And I, I like uh, I like the store chickens that are already cooked. But but her chickens in this thing beats that out, beats them out, for sure, beats them out by a long shot. She's cooking up, folks. Is it hot? It's not too hot. Hey folks, you didn't know you was going to be looking at cornmeal and a handsome, handsome, bearded man, huh? Believe it or not, folks, I used to be decent looking. This is my second uh time I've cooked in here today my second go around on cooking or cooking on this thing or in this thing it is allergy season folks oh my goodness having trouble breathing oh uh, and not so much like my nose it's my lungs it, it's allergy something is blooming out there that just it it's got me that's for sure All right, we're on 18 minutes. This video, I can't go no more for. I can't go further than. Uh, I can't do any longer than 22 minutes. Uh, she don't upload upload correctly. Maybe I'll try it out for 23, because we still have 19 minutes to to cook this thing. Let's put her on broil. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's stop it. Put it on broil high. Start her back. Put it on broil. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to go for 10. 10 minutes. You ain't going to see the results, though. Should I pause it? I don't want to pause it and let you see the results. You can imagine what it's going to look like. Let's finish her up. Real life. You can see how the edges have raised. Uh, she's cooking.
Now I will cook this thing until the edges are good and brown. Maybe a couple of burnt spots on it here and there. The device is too hot, I'm going to back her up. So. Oh yeah, she's warm. Hang on. Oh yeah. sun shining in from the window behind us. Folks, this is the Breville Air Fryer oven a convection oven an awesome oven this thing is unbelievable highly recommend it period but especially no matter what if you got a all electric in your house that's get it get it anyway but especially if you have uh, uh, if you're on propane or even natural gas but especially propane She's getting brown, folks. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna squeeze out and try 23 minutes. Let's quit it here, just in case. We'll see you.